Rob, Rob tell on the track. Hop in the whip and I hit these switches. See that chrome suspension. Look at the car, you know who did it. I don't have to mention. They know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex stay with fresh content and he keep it coming like a slideshow. Never cut corners far as I know, but he cut metal with his eyes closed. Control arms, reinforced frame, still killing the game. You see the gun smoke from Impalas with the X frame, doing tricks like it came from the X game. Everybody gotta tune in. For What's up, guys? Good morning. It is bright and early. Well, actually, it's dark and early, but we are on our way. Uh, the day has come. You guys have heard me talk about it before. Uh, we're on our way up to uh, Utah to Flogfest. Uh, big truck show going on up there. We're going to be doing some uh, some bending. Not with Hoppos, but with uh, Fern's Barbecue. So uh, we'll be on our way right now. We're meeting up with the San Diego boys. They met up this morning at Qualcomm Stadium at 345. And uh, while it's 530 right now and we're running a little bit late, we're trying to get over there to our first meetup spot. So we made it to our first meetup spot right here. We're off the 15 and baseline. We're meeting up with the guys. Uh, IE guys are here. There's three of us right now. Uh, this is our first time bringing this work truck here. We got Denali J, you got Clay on the other side. So these are all the local IE guys that were that decided to go to the show. Then we got the SD guys that are across the way filling up at the gas station. They're gonna be on the way over here right now. So here we go, guys. The well, sun's finally coming up. We're on our way. We are heading to our second location up in the high desert. Uh, we should have about 13 trucks total. Everyone with everybody. Uh, I got some of the guys pulling up right here next to me. We got Diamond Z71 pulling up on my right side right there. And I know at one point throughout this whole trip, we're gonna probably do a freeway takeover here. We got C Bailey right here pulling up in the Silverado. We got Fern's semi-famous barbecue right behind me. We got Clay, and we got a whole bunch of these boys. We're just going all over the place right now. We got Freddy Fresh, Eco Fresh on IG. showed up an hour late an hour late but she finally made it now that we got everyone all met up right here in the high desert we're gonna be taking off here we got Denali J gonna be leading the way we got Bernice following her following him and uh, we'll be hitting up on the 15 north and be uh, on our way to Vegas to meet up with the next batch of guys all right now 15 north all the way 187 miles to Vegas guys so time to get on it let's do it as we made it to Vegas where all my Raider fans at there she is so we're about 13 minutes to our next uh, destination. We'll be meeting up with the next batch of guys that came in from uh, Northern Cal and Idaho. Uh, we're meeting at Tacos Al Gordo. There's a few guys behind me right now. We got about 13 that we're gonna be uh, having total. So definitely been a fun trip coming up here. Uh, did a freeway takeover. Almost got taken out by a drunk driver in a BMW that looked like he was all doped up on something. But uh, we made it. We're just around the corner, not too far. So we'll fill you guys in once we get there. <laughs> we're coming, we're coming. Fucking this is fucking dead.
unfortunately got a mask out here, but this is pretty much the lineup right now. We're stopped at uh, Tacos Al Gordo, had some lunch real quick. We're gonna jump on the road, about an hour and a half, two hours away from our destination in Utah. So, got a nice little turnout out here. We should have about 12, 13 trucks, I think, right now. Guys, we officially made it over to the facility. We were here in Hurricane Utah, but of course, you know, this trip wouldn't be complete without a few hiccups in the way. Well, as we we're coming down the grade right here, the truck started overheating. Yes, the work truck that I just bought started overheating, um, and then AC kicked off. So we got a few little issues here. Luckily, we got a few guys that are local that uh, knew some people. Like, I don't know, either that we're gonna go to auto parts store, one of the two. Not sure yet, but we're gonna be trying to make it back home, unload, then from there, you know, make our trip back. Um, and kind of figure out what we're gonna do from there. So we gotta do some testing on it, see if it's worth fixing. We got limited tools with us out here, but we'll see what we can do. So we just dropped out the first load. Uh, luckily we're inside and uh, now we gotta go pick up the rest of the stuff we left in the back of the truck. Then we're gonna head home, see the wives and the baby. They're meeting, uh, they're waiting for us over there. Hi baby. Jordana, we made it, huh? You made it to Utah? <laughs> yeah. And guys, so we made it out here. Don't mind the graduation balloons. Here's our view. Whole bunch of new construction. Ooh, and them Idaho boys came in clutch with some moonshine. today is officially day one of uh, the show so let's go inside and Unfortunately, guys, I didn't really record too much while I was at the show. Uh, I was working, obviously, the booth with Fern's semi-famous barbecue. So, uh, kind of was limited on content. But we actually uh, got some time away, and on the way drive, on the drive back home, we're stopping here at Zion. We're in Zion National Park right now, checking out the scenes, doing some photo ops, and uh, getting everything all lined up with the trucks. Uh, Fern Semi Famous Barbecue also got sponsored through Rhino Hitch, so I uh, came out here to take some product uh, pictures. And I'll tell you what, I haven't been out to Utah since I was probably about 13, 14 years old. Uh, back shoot the winter olympics were back in town so that tells you how far that was i came out doing a snowboard trip but uh since uh i didn't really get to come out to this side of utah being in st george i mean zion national park if you guys haven't checked it out it is freaking phenomenal um it's a great place for the family i wish we had more time here so we do some hikes but uh we just kind of did a little roll through through here right, we are officially black back Blah, blah. As you can tell, it's been a long morning already. But we are officially back from Flogfest. And well, it took us forever to get home last night. Uh, it took us about 10 and a half hours from St. George, Utah to home. Uh, we had to stop in state line because it was like a, I don't know, bumper to bumper traffic. Vic, did you miss me? Hell no. Man, hey, do it for YouTube, man. So we are back and Vic is right at it welding and well back and it is busy. Jesus. We have about four pallets lined up for this morning. Um, so far 
and we get here early but so far we got two wishbones done right here well not officially done got a weld in the bunks real quick then we got one Y bone that's here which Vic has like 17 more to go um, and then he's doing the wishbone brackets right now but Flock Fest was a success it was great um, thank you everyone that I've met uh, that's it's crazy because see I obviously this channel is more lowrider based more lowrider stuff and uh, you know I do a lot of the truck stuff off to the side so I never thought they were like intertwined and going out there and meeting a whole bunch of people that actually follow on the channel not knowing um, I had no idea so it was pretty cool to see that thank you guys for everyone that I met Flog Fest, the, all the people at Flog Industries thank you thank you it was a great time and of course a big thank you to Fern Semi Famous Barbecue for always taking care of me um, we were working his booth and uh, you know Got to take care of fam out there, so I was helping him get everything, and I was I was a nacho serving machine. Yeah, I probably would have got fired if I actually really really worked, you know, but he needed free labor, so and I owed him. <laughs> Come in and check on Tony. Tony, Tony, where you at, buddy? Tony the Tiger. Yep, Tony's hiding. Don't know where he's at, guys. I have no idea where Tony the Tiger's at. Vic, what you got going, man? What you got? Vacuum paint. So, Vic just got a whole bunch of vacuum plate material cut up. And, well, here is a few. This is enough to get going for this morning. It should last her, Natalie, when I say her, Natalie, it should last her to about 10, 11 in the morning. Gotta get all the blocks here. Hey, be careful, man. There's a hose right there. Don't fall. Did you miss me? I missed you. Oh, no. I got you some moonshine. <laughs> well, I guess the guys aren't as excited to see me as I'm excited to see them. So, time to get to work. We got a lot going for today. I don't even know how, I don't even know if the machines or myself are going to be able to keep up today. I am tired. I didn't get home last night. Me and the family didn't get home, I should say. We didn't get home till about 12 o'clock midnight. And by the time we unloaded, somewhat unloaded the truck. Got everything put away. Got the baby down. Um, it was about 1 o'clock. And they had to wake up here at 4.30. Uh, actually, 4.45. Because I hit snooze a few times. But to make it here on time, time to take a nap. Wishbone's done. Y-bone done. Vic's working on some more Y-bones over here. So proud of Vic. So proud of him. It's like my little boy's growing all up. It makes me so happy to see him learning machinery. I mean, we did have to set up up for him, but... Good job, buddy. Love it. Yeah. Of course, he's gonna use the, it's too loud. I can't hear you, excuse. But we had to set that jig up. Um, we had to try to increase our productivity by doing a single cut, single pull, single setup, but cutting two pieces at once. So when we set that jig up, it's actually designed to do two cuts at the same exact time and uh, make life easier for us. As you can hear, he just went up the second cut right now but it's all in the same stroke and the same pull and there's no resetting up the jig or anything like that. So definitely makes things a little bit faster. It actually speeds up each wide bone by about two and a half minutes. So it's good, definitely good. Charlie's gonna build him a little cat house. He says he needs to live in luxury. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for that build. <laughs> I don't know how that, we'll see if that ever gets done. Oh, so we've been pretty much caught up. A lot of you guys have been asking updates on the Sentra. Yes, it's still here. No, we haven't got to it yet, but the good thing is uh, we actually got all, we were waiting actually for the chrome to come back and um, all the polish and stuff to come back. So the chrome and the chrome fittings did come back. There was a little mix up at the chromer. Uh, the chromer actually misplaced the fittings, you know, all chromers, all chromers misplaced fittings. But we got them back and luckily uh, they were all there. So it actually was, we, when we found out they were missing, we got them back the very next day. So it actually wasn't too bad. Um, so that was just last week and obviously we kind of rolled into this week and uh, I was gone for a few days. So uh, we're just trying to play catch up. But 
yeah, so we're gonna get jumping on that. That's definitely gonna be a video where you guys are gonna love it. We'll get cracking on that for sure. Um, we got a lot of cool and crazy ideas for that one, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I know you guys have been asking. Um, also, Dago Danes works holding up pretty good. Oh man, I got a whole bunch of stuff on me. Holding up pretty good, so it's looking good right there. Gonna add some more. Ah. See YouTube, I try to tell you guys all the time. My man here, Vic, always works. I recognize. What you doing? Working? What do you mean work? What do you mean work? Okay. Okay. That's the spirit. Come on. We also just updated our plasma. Oh man, what the heck? I look like I had a unibrow for a second. All right, so we also just updated the plasma cam, our uh, DHC2. Uh, we got a water table under there, so hopefully it cuts down on the smoke a little bit. It's not exactly what we wanted, uh, but we had a ton of orders and we had to kind of make do with what we had right here. So we ordered in some of the coolant and uh, got that going, got the table going. Vic's doing wide bones, Charlie's cutting hoses. Actually, Charlie's just standing there watching me right now. Charlie's supposed to be working, buddy. Gotta give everyone a hard time. But we just got all that going. Um, fulfilled tons of orders today. Vic's still doing wide bones. Throw your hat over there. Hey, you can just throw the hat away. <laughs> Vic, Vic keeps rubbing this in just because the truck's gone. I haven't wore that hat, but it's like, I can't wear a Cummins hat. She's trying to put diesel on the fucking gas <laughs> All right, I come back and everyone has jokes. All right, all right, I see how it is. Okay, jeez. God damn it, Vic, get to work. That's all I can say to him because I have no comeback to it. Yes, I haven't worn my Cummins diesel hat because, well, it's gone. So, you're trying to clear space here because eventually you got to get that old booger over there, that POS. Tiger's out. Tony. Tony the Tiger. Dang. Did he give him a bath? He actually looks clean. Tony the Tiger. Hi, buddy. So this is our shop cat that's kind of been staying around. Well, it's technically not our shop cat. They just wandered into the yard. So Charlie started feeding him, giving him food every day. And well, he hasn't left. His face looks better too. What's up, buddy? Can I zoom in here? How do I zoom in on this thing? Hey. Hi, buddy. You look a little cross-eyed, but we ain't judging you, Tony. You're all good. When most cats have a fancy bed, he got a microfiber with a 20 foot tube, 22 foot tube actually, for his house. I guess that's his spot. I um, guess we can't use that. Vic, we can't use that material no more. That's his house. Maybe we should build him like a little cat thing. In charge of building him a little cat house, okay? He has 22 feet of perfect <laughs> living space over there. That's your, that's your task. You gotta build him a cat house, alright? Charlie's gonna build him a little cat house. He says he needs to live in luxury, so we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for that build. <laughs> I don't know how that, we'll see if that ever gets done. Oh, so we've been pretty much caught up. A lot of you guys have been asking updates on the Sentra. Yes, it's still here. No, we haven't got to it yet, but the good thing is uh, we actually got all, we were waiting actually for the chrome to come back and um, all the polish and stuff to come back. So the chrome and the chrome fittings did come back. There was a little mix up at the chromer. Uh, the chromer actually misplaced the fittings, you know, all chromers, all chromers misplaced fittings. But we got them back and luckily uh, they were all there. So it actually was, we, when we found out they were missing, we got them back the very next day. So it actually wasn't too bad. Um, so that was just last week. And obviously we kind of rolled into this week and uh, I was gone for a few days. So uh, we're just trying to play catch up. But yeah, so we're gonna get jumping on that. That's definitely gonna be a video where you guys are gonna love it. We'll get cracking on that for sure. Um, we got a lot of cool and crazy ideas for that one, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I know you guys have been asking. Um, also, Dago Danes works holding up pretty good. Oh man, I got a whole bunch of stuff on me. Holding up pretty good, so it's looking good right there. Gonna add some more. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up our day. We